these roadblocks. Well, the state of Georgia set up about 20,000 of these roadblocks last year alone, but critics say they're not effective at taking dangerous drivers off of the road. One of those roadblocks often gets set up here on Far Road at Far Court in Buckhead. Authorities say drivers think they can fly under the radar by cutting through here because there are mostly apartments and condos nearby. We do them almost every weekend in multiple locations, and there will be a number of them this weekend. The governor's office of highway safety says that last year alone there were 19,795 roadblocks in the state of Georgia. Local DUI attorney William Head says that's much higher than most states. California is more than four times as large as Georgia, and Georgia had a 50 percent greater number of roadblocks than the state of California. Police made nearly 40,000 DUI arrests in Georgia last year, and Head bought dozens of them. He says roadblocks are easier to fight in court because there's usually no evidence of irregular driving. A regular DUI case usually requires some type of bad driving. At a roadblock, you have no bad driving. While these roadblocks may catch people with alcohol in their blood system, Head thinks law enforcement could better use these officers on the road looking for dangerous driving. If you had 20 officers out canvassing the city looking for traffic offenses, you're going to find that you get more people that way and you actually have a traffic offense that they committed. The number of DUI arrests actually has gone down significantly in the past few years, but DUI attorney Head doesn't think it's because people are drinking and driving less. He thinks it's because there are less cops around to catch them. In the studio, Sonia Mosey, CBS Atlanta News.